Welcome to the Geek Show Arcade. Oh well, yeah. Hello there. Hi this everyone. New. Yeah. New for you? New for James because yeah, you weren't here for last a week. week and geez, I tried to get you to come and everything. you wouldn't come. Yeah, you should have been yep. here for our inaugural. That's episode, what I said. Bro. I said no, James no, should come. This tracks because James wasn't on the first Gadget Spot episode oh, either. Oh yeah, yeah, that's so, right. true. That's true. He's, it works. Trying to, he's trying to stay true. Yep. yep. Hmm. All right, this is the uh, Geek Show Arcade coming at you live, recorded live, not actually at you live <laughs> in podcast form. And guess what? This week you're looking at it on the YouTubes, on the YouTubes. It's hey, not YouTube. live at all. Let's be clear. It's recorded as though it is live, Jaron. That's <laughs> how everyone records things. Exactly <laughs> right. my point. Well, it's right. nice to see that you guys haven't changed. Let's introduce these panelists, this bunch of yahoos <coughs> right here. We got Owen. Hello. At Technoan. Pointing on the actually matters now. I know. Pointing Boom. matters now. Uh, Owen, point to Jaren. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, there we are. go. There we <laughs> go. <got Jaren. laughs> yep. That's Jaren. It's like we're a dyslexic Brady bunch. Yeah. That's, it wasn't, that was hard for me. Say hi, Jaren. Hi. This is Jaren. <laughs> hey. At you look Jaren different than I thought you would Twitters. have. And then Jaren, point at James. Almost. Nope. Oh, Almost. hey. Go, go. Nice. Go, you can go catch me cr- here or yeah. on Instagram, JDD oh. Jensen. You can catch me on Should, Twitter, uh, not sure. posting on okay. JDD Jensen. There you go. And uh, James, point at Lando. Yeah. Uh, right, right over there. You screwed there we up. go. I think I, I think I got it the fastest, Tony. I get some sort of reward. <laughs> what are you talking about? I did it you know, immediately. No, yeah, you're but you're pointing, pointing at the wrong side. You're yeah, pointing you're, at nothing. Hey, hey no, guys, hey for guys, me, hey guys, it's hey pointing at James. Hey guys, hey guys, no. hey guys, hey guys. Oh, guess what? Audio format. Guess, we're using guess, visual antics. You wa- sorry, you're walking guess, all over Lando's introduction. Guess, guess what? Guess what, guys? So it's Twitter. completely normal then. Hey guys, guess yeah. what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? what? We have a host. His name's Tony. He's right hey. here. Hey, it's me. How did everybody hey, else get guy. it, Jaren, except for you? No, you're not pointing at me. I did right the there. things. I am. Great job. <laughs> Check me out on Twitter at Quatsy Tony. That's how Tony. it shows for me. <laughs> or on all the other Geek Show podcasts and whatnots. There you go. All right. Just a bunch uh, of white guys trying their best. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to our Patreon backers, still located at Gadget Spot. Uh, Patreon.com slash Gadget Spot, or go to GadgetSpot.net until I do something with that website. And uh, check us out there. If you donate when six... Does, when does that domain expire, Tony? Uh, I got to look. Because that's, that's when I you're going to do something with that podcast. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, I, I got to look. Bef- I got to find out before it expires because it auto-renews. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna be there for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but if you donate six dollars a month or more on the old uh, Patreon, the digital tip jar, you get a shout out on the air, and Jaron has that for us for right now. Yes, I do. But I first got to post a screenshot to Slack to prove y'all that I'm not crazy. Oh my gosh, nobody. Anyway, cares anymore. thank you. <laughs> Big shout out to our sugar tech daddies, David Broshinsky, Connor Kisaw, Aaron Young, Stuart Lloyd. And Wiffle Ball Tony. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you to you Mark Cope. Not... Sorry. Yes. Yes, James? No. no, you're more important than our Patreon. No, I'm sorry. No. How dare That's you. not true. No, nope, not dare true. You. Okay, okay. Mark Cope, Crate and Barrel is just an overpriced Ikea. That is still so wrong. It's kind of mm. true, though. Mm. Andy Bird, Be the Eight-Year-Old, Jeremy, No Name, No Color, Keslo, Eric Steinman, Eric Cruz, Nathan Motzkus, Matt Nelson. You all should check out Hendrix Craftsman on Insta and TikTok. <laughs> Yeah. What do you want us to hawk? We'll do it. Josh sure. Dorius, Dick Messerly, Splinter, Pond to Q Night 3, Aaron Faulkner, Joe, a right does not, as a practical matter, exist without any remedy for its enforcement. Ryan M. and Adam Hecht. There you go. Thank you so much, Patreon backers. And in case you uh, didn't realize this and you're new to the show, if you back us and change your name to whatever you want, we'll probably read it. <laughs> unless yeah, it's probably with profanities we, we, and such but uh we we've always done that. it's pre- yeah well nobody's nobody's been uh nobody's you know, called us out on it yeah nobody's been too off color for us to not read it so good job patreon backers well done uh talk about like see. cheap free advertising i mean to to the entire craftsman's network. hendrick hendrick's craftsman instagram right there uh, yeah Advertise I, every I, week I, See, I, and I wish so. people would actually post this uh what is it uh the the chess game to like some website that we could watch it actually play out. I would well, love it's that. the same. It's the same well, every time. They'd they be in the same the square middle. the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. So Seriously though, check out when Andrew's I play Crossman on TikTok. Yeah, well, Owen <laughs> said Insta as Insta. well. Insta. Yeah. That's it. yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have any emails? Uh, no. 
We okay, do not. no emails. That's okay. If you do want to email us, though, geekshowarcade at gmail.com. We're right there. If you got any questions about uh, gaming related stuff, hardware, games, software, whatever, shoot us over a question. Or maybe you just want to make a recommendation. That's cool, too. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, we sure do. Let's start off with the bad. Oh. <laughs> My well, gosh. I see that we haven't changed at all. Nope. Uh, <laughs> we always start off with the bad. Stupid Microsoft, and I'm as you can tell, I'm I'm pretty riled up about this. Stupid Microsoft has decided to uh, partner with AMD on Starfield and make it an AMD partner game. And at yeah, first, you might Nvidia hear that is think, too expensive now. You, you uh, tried buying Nvidia stock, huh? You tried AMD, doing that, Tony? I think AMD pays them. Never mind. This. <laughs> so, say, yeah, so, they, so they'll optimize. About? So they'll optimize Starfield for AMD chipsets. So it's not so much no. that they'll optimize it for AMD chipsets. Uh, all it is basically is paying for a splash screen in front of uh, the game. So why are you mad about that? Because just press spacebar and skip it. When it's Nvidia branded game, not branded, but partnered game, they don't take out any competing uh, features. When it's an AMD partnered game, they do not put in any Intel and uh, NVIDIA features that compete with their own. Um, they screw you. They, mm -hmm. they literally just uh, screw you. I Even mean, though most of the PC market is NVIDIA gear. It's just, that's, and that's not a, that's not a fanboyism. That's just a fact yeah. right now, the way the market is. Feels it's like, like fanboyism. I mean, no, it might it's... sound like that coming from me because I love <laughs> it, NVIDIA. It, it does. It and really I'm basically does. a shill for them. Wait, but what? Tony yeah. likes NVIDIA? I know. <laughs> no, DLSS is far superior than it FSR 2, 2.1. Yep. DLSS 3, it's frame generation. AMD doesn't even have an analog to that yet. Yeah. And the thing is, is it, developers have said uh, multiple times, I've read in different articles, before this, before this even happens, um, the putting putting in FSR and putting in DLSS are incredibly similar and incredibly easy. So it is literally just AMD gatekeeping other tech in that game when uh, uh, when when it's other sponsored companies that sponsor games they don't do that. And in the so, case of Jedi Survivor, that's an Unreal Engine game. DLSS is built into the engine. Yeah, it's a, and it's, it, it's almost a, just a toggle. It was not. It was not included in Jedi Survivor because that was another AMD so, sponsored game. Okay, Tony. Yep. Co Tony. Okay. Okay, Tony. Mm -hmm. Let me let me make sure I understand this correctly. So if, what you're telling me is AMD paid more to sponsor Starfield than Nvidia did. Probably. That's probably and, what happened. And you're saying you wish Nvidia would have paid more, and you're mad about uh, it. That would I have think been it's, nice, I think or it's just the other have way no around. partnership. I, th I think Nvidia is so big; it's the other way around. Microsoft has to pay Nvidia. Oh, That's interesting. At this so, point, I'm more surprised that you don't realize, or maybe you do, and you're just being facetious, that a big company doesn't actually give a crap about you. It's yeah. all about the bottom line. <laughs> we talked about that last week. Well, it's and true. It's AMD true. is the underdog for sure. They've got to do whatever they can. They're no I, underdog anymore. Come, come on. I'm talking your one They know two. it, though. They DLSS. know it. They don't even have they, an analog. Yeah. They are an underdog, underdog still in GPU, not yeah. in CPU. And I think that's where they're trying to make their mark. They're trying to get into that GPU. Well, just right. look, at the, look at the console market. Straight yeah. GPU sold. It's still... Oh, that's true. AMD might, uh, yeah. uh, if you count the console market. So the right. problem with what AMD does here is... It just ends up generating bad press for them because people look at it and immediately think, now I can't use DLSS and I have to use FSR, which is an inferior technology. Right. Whereas if they didn't exclude DLSS or XESS from the Intel cards, people would just look at it and be like, oh, AMD sponsored game. That's kind of cool. All right, turn on DLSS and not XESS think twice. also works on AMD cards. You don't need an Intel card for XESS. That's true. XESS works on, on any platform uh, so far. And but, it's better than FSR. And it's better than FSR, yep. But it runs best on Intel uh, graphics cards because it's developed, has specific stuff in there for the Intel machine learning cores. Hmm. Uh, we they, should work they, it back to the video games and uh, away from the acronyms. <laughs> I agree. Just because you don't. No. I don't understand it. Makes me feel stupid. How anyway, important that was. Is this scared, how you yeah. approach quizzes at school too? Yeah, I refuse to I answer this off. question. I will answer question number one again. 
They had me play. <laughs> my coworkers had me play some of those stupid New York Times games today. The smart people games, dude. Those aren't Wordle. games. Those are yeah, projects. It Wordle. There's a world. Anyway, we'll we'll move along so James doesn't get a headache. Thank but, you. Uh, Three yeah. syllable words, Matt. I'm very disappointed that uh, Microsoft is doing this for Starfield. There is still a slight chance that they will not block DLSS and XESS because AMD's never flat out said. They don't block other tech, but they skirt around the question all the time. And there is one game in the last, like, four years that was an AMD-sponsored uh, game that still got DLSS, and I can't remember what it was. But I just want frame one generation was... on Starfield, because that would just be oh, amazing. Man. Yeah. Because it's going to be a heavy sure. game, and frame generation will double your frames immediately. Yep. yep. Double your fun, double your feeds. frames. That's right. Double your pleasure of double mint gum. Wait, All what? right, James. Are you just saying stuff now, Landon? He's just, he's just no. quoting. Double, he's shilling for double mint. Double mint. Mm. All right, so James. Let's talk about your mint. stories. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. We already did that. Uh, <laughs> no. All the stories you have here we covered in the two previous episodes. Well, guess what? <laughs> Microsoft's coming <laughs> so, out with so another I, flight I, simulator. I give, 2024. I, I give you an A for effort. Surprises. Nobody. We talked about that weeks ago. Like literally. Yeah. Guess what? It's still coming out. And guess how unsurprising it still is. Uh, it's even less surprising because we already talked about it. We already Do we know. need to say that we're coming out with a FIFA 2024 and an NFL whatever Madden 2024. Oh, John Trebek. Oh, whatever his name <laughs> is. James when he's not Tom here. Brady. Oh. <laughs> okay. Stupid uh, yearly games. Get over it. Freaking. Uh, bring Microsoft back. Bring flight. back Flight Simulator. Yo. World War II. Asian Pacific. That flight was an Simulator amazing game. Wasn't wasn't yearly anyway. The last flight simulator was launched three years ago. <laughs> yes. Why are you going to prove me wrong? Does it, does it, do you feel good when you prove me wrong like Just that? Do you yeah. you Just good. do your research. Just do your research. It's good not right that now. hard. I, I, I even listened to last week's episode. <laughs> yeah, that, we covered this like four weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't listen to one four weeks ago, but it was last week. <laughs> I think that hair dye seeping into your brain. Guess what, guys? I'm back. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. I'll just be quiet over here. You gave me attention. You let me go. It's more, oh, it's more on you than it is on me. No, I did <laughs> it on purpose. True. All right. Uh, well, you know what? Let's keep the Microsoft train rolling. Um, let's talk about the Microsoft FTC trial going on oh, right now. Oh, man. This oh, is some juicy, juicy. Tell me more. Juicy drama. Yeah, like, it's hot some, in there. Yeah. It's getting a little steamy. So we're on day three today, and I haven't had a chance to read up on all of the stuff that happened in day three, but day one and day two, they were pretty intense. Um, we could so, almost have an entire podcast episode oh, just totally. on I'm this gonna give topic. The, I'm going to give the cliff notes or this episode's going to go way past what we want. So yeah. um, so day one, I'll just give a quick recap. Um, what's the guy? What's what's uh, Ryan? Jim, Jim Ryan. Ryan. Jim Ryan, uh, see the <laughs> internal email from Jim Ryan. Uh, I don't. I think Call of Duty is going to be. He's the CEO of PlayStation. Okay. CEO of Sony PlayStation. So um, Jim Ryan sends an email. Uh, I don't think that. I don't think we're ever going to lose Call of Duty. I don't think we're going to lose Call of Duty. This isn't an ex exclusivity play by Microsoft. This is something bigger. So he knew from the. He oh, felt totally. from the outset. Mm -hmm. Totally. That, that this wouldn't affect. And, Call of Duty. And the headline for on my on my notes here is that this feels like the FTC has been purchased, like that they got hired to do this. And so day one was kind of just the initial sparring and, and back and forth. Day two is where it got really juicy. Phil Spencer up on the stage, FTC um, coming at him hot and um, at start, starts asking him all sorts of things about uh, about why they're why they're purchasing um why they're going to purchase Activision, and and Phil Spencer basically goes into it and airs Sony's business tactics, which became <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty cutthroat, right? Oh yeah, and so with their first person game or first mm -hmm. party games, oh yeah, and not only that, so Sony it was it was um, it was explained by Phil that Sony was going to um, buy was has is paying third party. Um, make game makers, creators to skip the Xbox platform. They just look at them. They say, "How much Wait. would you make? How much would you make if you if you make this on Xbox?" And they go, "Well, com including PlayStation, all those systems with Xbox, we'd make this much." Sony goes, "What if oh, we just what, what if we just bought so you out?" Sony that, that's that's exclusive. That, those are exclusives. Yeah. That's not that's nothing new in the industry. 
no, 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 no. Uh, they, were gonna do with, they were going to do it with Starfield. Sony out to that skip was the, Microsoft? That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Well, that's 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 been done for a long yeah. time where yeah. you buy well, a I know that. That's exclusive. crazy. But the the weird thing about this was what Owen just said. It, they were going. They were planning on doing it for Starfield. Yeah. And that's then not a... Microsoft bought Zenimax. Yeah, and they said so. They were gonna. They were gonna. Yeah. So they were. And barrel. They were gonna try and do. They <laughs> How's were that for a power move? <laughs> yeah. Um, so they were gonna try and do Call of Duty, and and I don't think that PlayStation would have been as as nice as Phil Spencer's been about Call of Duty as they're demanding that he Here, is. Here's the thing: you look at the history of PlayStation first party titles, and it is just recently within the last like two years or three years, we've been getting some of them ported over to mm-hmm. PC. Mm-hmm. Other There's than one that, on Xbox. What's what's the one on Xbox? MLB The Show. Oh yeah, that was a weird one. That was <laughs> yeah. super yeah. out of left field. Get it? Mm-hmm. Um, ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, sports metaphor? Yeah, exactly. Um, but so I think, many baseball metaphors. I think that had something to do with uh, the MLB contract and not the Sony... Um, the Sony developer, I can't remember yeah. the name, but anyway, know, yeah. the point is, the point is, you look at Microsoft's track record; several games from companies that they've purchased are on all platforms still, and and continue to be like, and, and continue have, to be updated and everything. The only reason that uh, PS Five doesn't have Minecraft. Is, be, is because they, they wouldn't, wouldn't send the dev kits. Sony wouldn't send them the mm-hmm. dev kits to yeah. make it. <laughs> so Why it would was they right not ar- want Minecraft? So it was right around that. So here, Microsoft's in a unique position. They're in the console market, but they're also in the game market. And PlayStation didn't want to send dev kits to a competitor right. that was making a console that competes with them. And so then they tried to use this and say, well, they didn't. Uh, Minecraft, you have to play the PS4 version if you want to play Minecraft. You haven't optimized that for PS5. And Phil Spencer goes, yeah, they wouldn't send us the dev kits, so their development is behind. And, you know, Sony had a deal, a play to make Deathloop and Ghostwire um, to, to pay them not to ship. And so they de- that's when they just bought ZeniMax. They were, they yeah. were like, Sony's just trying to, pay, to buy us into Oblivion. Microsoft got the last laugh because they got Redfall. Yeah. Uh, you mean Sony got the last laugh? Yeah, it was a joke, Tony. Oh. Screw that hit my <laughs> checkbook. How much will it be? I don't so. laugh about Redfall. It's too sad. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted that game to be good. <laughs> so, uh, but so, but yeah. So, so they they uh, Phil Spencer said we did that to remain relevant. We're falling behind because Sony's buying these out and making them exclusive and keeping them off our platform. Um, and then it moves on to the FTC trying to commit um, Phil Spencer. A, on more games. He's like, what about Elder Scrolls? You promise you'll do that too? And he's like, Elder Scrolls is years away. And I it's can't... It's like five years out It's still. like five years out. I can't promise that. He's like, well, will you... May-? So basically, they had Phil up on the stand under oath, and now the FTC is just trying to commit him to giving all their... to making sure all their games would be available. And he doesn't stop with with the uh, Elder Scrolls, he he brings up Diablo. He bring he asks if this if this merger went through, would you make sure that all Activision games would be cross com- cross platform compatible? So the FTC is asking all. this. This FTC is asking. They're this. asking for promises. That's so they're weird. basically getting to trying to get in a promise. It got so crazy that eventually the judge just said, "Stop." They cut the FTC off, and yeah. and and from the reports twice, twice, wow. and the FTC, it, the reports from from the courtroom was that there was almost an audible gasp <laughs> because <laughs> the judge just said, "Wait, what? Don't bring that up again." Yeah, like, we get End it. this line of questioning. Mm-hmm. Move on. So, to be fair, can to be they? Fair. There, there it is. Uh, could they ask Sony the exact same thing? Will you no, make the Sony's next not, Uncharted not, game? Sony's not on trial here, but <laughs> yeah, it would right. be great if they did. Right, but cow. it's it's the why, that, why would they expect Microsoft to do what Sony doesn't? Never do? would. Yeah. Never yeah. would. And I think this goes back to what Owen said at the beginning of this art. It feels like the FTC has been just bought by Sony mm-hmm. to grill yeah. Microsoft on and at, this and at, try and prevent it. And at the end, when the, the second time the judge shut him down was when they said, okay, 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 okay. But what about your cloud games? Would you make sure your cloud games oh, no. are on PS Cloud? And the judge just goes, what cloud? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, anyway. That's just stupid. They just came out not looking like they knew what they were talking about. And if you heard Phil Spencer's testimony to his commitment to keeping Call of Duty on, he said, and he, he, it was like a whole 
three paragraphs of, of I am standing here under oath telling you that I commit to making Call of Duty available on the PS5 and they thought they had him and then he kind of reiterated later because they made him commit again and all future Sony PlayStation systems. There you go. I mean I mean what the... more can you ask from a competitor? Yeah, right. you know. That's a big deal. And that's One a of... big deal because they don't view this 70 billion dollars that they're investing as what it's worth. They're looking at this much longer Long term, term yeah. much uh, and, and much more. They're going after the mobile market. I think did they buy King? Did they? Did is that? How I they, think Activision, uh, owns, Activision King. owns King. Yeah, Activision owns King. And so now they've got now they've got Candy Crush, which if you watch the IP on that, it's making still making good to billions. Just, yeah. I mean, delicious. and you know what Microsoft would do? They would put exclusive features on the Xbox version. Yeah, sure, that's what they'll do. Yeah. But Sony's and and Sony's been paying for that in uh, third party games forever. forever. Uh, there was a True. boatload yeah. of Destiny stuff that was exclusive to PlayStation. Stupid. Oh, you that's know, another example. example of a cross platform kind of Sony owned game, Destiny, because yeah. Sony has a stake in Bungie now. Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing. Sony found out that they were gonna. I mean, Sony had a bunch of different bids out. They were going to go. They were looking at Bungie. They were looking at all these other all the other games uh studios and and then because of i want to I, I feel like this is the from the book of owen but um i feel like because of the ghost wire the death loop and the and the that play took and for and then when starfield when they got wind that that sony was trying to basically make you know cut undercut their platform they were like well let's do bethesda zenimax let's let's grab zenimax and just get the whole bag so yeah well, and it makes sense too, just from a gaming IP perspective. The co- all the companies under Zenimax have been really hot over the last like six, seven years with really good games, yeah. machine games with the Wolfenstein games, ID for the uh, Doom games, the Doom reboots, and you know all of those have been really great. And so, so Owen, I've been hearing a lot about the. There's been a lot of talk about the console wars, and they've been trying to include the new Switch as a console versus not a console. What's that all about? So they didn't. So that was the other thing they tried to bring up is that that the and Phil Spencer basically said the console wars are a loss, and and the FTC tried to say so you're just buying these as a loss then as a, you're just trying to buy these to 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 keep them shelved and not put them on a platform, and so when they when they brought up the console stuff they really tried to lean into that 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 was the anti competitive that they were trying to that Microsoft was trying to use that to boost their sales and Phil's like we don't run the console like at profit they never they, have they've always never, had no, console well, console so. not even sony does they, they don't even does. make money on their yeah. sales they, they were talking about how the console is is almost dead in in you know in especially that way. the traditional of model of consoles yeah. mm-hmm. is is shifting so far now that consoles are and and we talked about we've been talking about this for years with the advent of x86 based mm-hmm. consoles yep you're you're going to get into a regular iterative update cycle. It won't be yearly or bi-yearly, or even every three years. But but I'm betting that you'll see new consoles with backwards compatibility built in because it's all x86 yep. architecture. You know, much more frequently than we were seeing new generations in the right. past. And no, especially no as way. Push- I, I I disagree with that because you don't think so. No, because the the GPU uh, performance upgrades we get generation over generation are like decreasing you look at ps1 to ps2 huge increases in a just like four or five years seven years between ps4 and ps5 the generational upgrade isn't that big and it's only going to get slower it just depends on how they want to change the model though because it's working fantastically for phones and phones cost three times as much as a gaming console Mm -hmm. and you get and you get people buy new phones every year. But I would argue they get used three times as much as a gaming console. Oh, that's a fair oh yeah, point. like that's you can't live without a phone. You can live without a. Yeah, system. the phone's one of those devices that goes with people everywhere, right? Versus a our, versus a console where it's like, yeah, that'd be nice to have a new one, but not a must-have like a phone. Yeah. In my studios, opinion. studios couldn't QA that many consoles. They they just couldn't do it unless they move to more of a PC type. I was going to say they do exactly. it for PC already. Yeah. Right. 
That's yeah, but look like. at the PC gaming but, but that's, oh, that's, that's market thing, right now. That's don't the thing I hate it. most about <laughs> PC gaming is it's not QA'd right that, right? Yeah, I know when exactly. I buy an Xbox, every single Xbox game is going to work. I don't have to worry about what graphics card I have, how much memory I have, what CPU I have, if it's going to install or not, bug, troubleshooting, bugging, playing with the dumb settings. Like, I hate all that. I just want it to work. And consoles give me that experience. I think Microsoft's well, going to shift, shift more to just a shell that connects wrong? to the to the cloud to their game pass like they don't even tell me i'm wrong no yeah. they got to improve it so much to be able to <laughs> they would have to improve well, and, and it still okay. runs in the same me, crutches as bandwidth right like let me tell lando why yeah. let me tell lando why he's wrong real quick <laughs> there are still plenty of, of games released that do not run good on consoles yeah no but they they run good enough no like, uh, <laughs> cyberpunk 27 <laughs> did you did you, yeah the cyberpunk release Boom. uh golem oh. yes, i mean ago. we're talking a handful I mean, of games compared to how many no, games are released i don't think so it's I, a, yeah, it's, it's probably one out of ten and just think of how much worse it would be if we had a new console every two years <laughs> yeah like sure. yeah, well, no time to optimize on it you know like, i don't know yeah. i don't know I, I i would like it but that's no, developers are pretty good at optimizing consoles <laughs> look at the switch and some of the things that developers do yeah, with that that thing that's true. Yeah, if we didn't have low-powered consoles, like I don't think graphics would progress as much as they do because they would just be taking shortcuts to put out a game. And this that, 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 that runs bad. fine on newer consoles, but not as good on, as on the lower on the older ones, you know. Yep. Guess time will tell. So it's 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 pretty it's pretty steamy in there. They're both they're both kind of uh, throwing stones. I don't think Sony was ready to have some of their business practices. There's a lot of dirty thrown, laundry getting thrown there. out, thrown out out there from Phil yep. being like, "Look, you want to know why we're doing this? Here's exactly why we're trying. They're they're trying to cut us off at the knees, and my, keep stuff off our platform so that we're obsolete. You know, right. and so, my favorite part was the fact that Jim Ryan couldn't even uh, deign to go test testify in person. Yeah, sent a recorded video. Yeah, it's just like, eh, and, and then it was, and then it was, and then they basically day one they proved that he was he like he get he got caught lying. So it was yeah. based off that email. So it's oops. Like, so yeah. Owen, based on what you know right now, which how's this thing gonna go? Do you have any kind of a sense of you the know, feeling of where it's gonna go? Or I, how it's I'm, gonna play out? Yeah, I'm in it more for the drama. Uh, of course, I like, I like yeah, that. I, I like that part Typical of it. Owen. I like that part of it. So <laughs> so I actually don't know. I mean, I know that if. Microsoft wins, then the FTC's block is removed. Is that the idea? Yeah, um, that's the idea, it. right? It'll go, it'll go through. Basically, they can't block this anymore. So that was the way that I, that uh, Microsoft spun it to sound like it was a good thing that they were getting mm -hmm. uh, sued right now for right. to stop that because that meant the court stuff would move faster. Exactly. Right. And but if they clear this, they still have to go through like all the UK regulatory. The crap. UK I think CMA gone well, through it, haven't they? Uh, no, the so CMA they got through there. Europe. Yeah. Oh, I EU, thought we talked about that. EU's fine with it, um, and uh, Brazil is. I think Brazil's fine. Anyway, a bunch of the other countries are fine with it. It's just the UK and. Um, I guess the, the UK US. is different than the EU. But, yeah, exactly. But also the thing, the works. thing too is, is they could if they win in the US. It's a done deal, if you ask me. Because I think the CMA caves if the if the FTC loses. And even if they you don't, know? Microsoft will just change how they package stuff for the UK market, just like yeah. they've done with Windows. You know, they had to do that with Windows a while back, and uh, and it's fine. So fair enough. Yep. Well, there you go. There's your courtroom drama for yeah. the week. It we'll was have... it was good. Like so I can't have more I just, next week. I just yeah. can't. I can't. I can't imagine anybody just getting up on on the stand like that and just like flat out under oath saying like a cut to a competitor. I will always keep. I will always make it so that you're not obsolete. Like yeah, how about and, that? And they would never do that for him. That is just oh, it's no bonkers way. to me. That's how bad you can tell Microsoft wants this deal to go through. They're willing to give up Call of Duty because they know that. It's not well, I don't even think give up. Run. I don't think them ever willing to give up that in because I don't think they were planning on making it first. Like first party uh, right. exclusive. It's a money maker. That's not why they're it's doing this. It's huge yeah. money to keep yeah. that on every platform available. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, they make way more money doing that than they would trying to get people to buy an Xbox based yeah. off Call of Duty. It just shows how how much Sony just really doesn't want this to go through for all the other IP. Yeah, yep. they understand what's happening here. puts It puts it really brings Microsoft into their sphere of competition, right? Microsoft yeah. has to get this to compete with Sony in this way. So we'll see. More, yep. more to come this week. Mm -hmm. More to come. 
All right, uh, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. Yay! We had a Nintendo Direct last week. They're my favorite. This was a good Nintendo Direct, too, because everything from this Nintendo Direct are games that are being released this year, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, I don't think that's correct. That is correct. No. I'm pretty sure some of those are coming out in 2024. I think you're wrong, Tony. I think I'm right. Let's check. Fact check me. While, while I'm doing story, while I'm talking about games, you fact check me. I am going Because I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm going to eat crow later. 2024. <laughs> it's going to be so yummy. Which one did you find, Remind. Jaren? Remaster of 3DS's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and go. a brand new game starring Princess Peach will be arriving in 2024. Okay, 2024. most of them are coming this year. So the first and foremost, <laughs> the one that I'm most uh, excited Just for. Just Dance 2024 edition. <laughs> he didn't read oh, the third paragraph. Oh, can't do that anymore because we got to read that third paragraph. <laughs> he didn't read like that it. third paragraph. It'll nope, bite. of course not. Paragraphs suck. <laughs> Anyway, uh, just about the games. Uh, first and foremost, n- n- Mario <laughs> Wonder. Right, this is a huge surprise. None of us saw this coming. A new Mario game for the Switch, 2D side scroller. The first one since um, the, the new, new Super Mario, Mario Brothers, Brothers yeah. U, Wii U Deluxe, which was on the Wii U and then ported to the yeah. Switch. Yeah, which I liked that game a lot. It I was fine. It was, really it was a fine game. Really this one it. looks better, um, and I'll tell you but why. Why? What did I just say, Jaron? This is we said it the we said it at the same time. Boy, the smallest things just derail you. Man, Landon, yeah. just get on. Why with so it. spicy? <laughs> <laughs> He's an angry elf. So yeah. this game, so the the last Wait. Mario game was really Dwarf. slow and kind of elf. slushy, elf, sloppy, it. right? Are you? Are it was you really fun, but I just Odyssey? thought it was like slow. But this one looks like it's bringing back a lot of the the faster mechanics, like P speed. So if you ever played Mario three, P there's speed? this. Hold on, are you talking about P Odyssey? Speed? No. Mario Wonder, the Nintendo Direct. James, where have you been? No, Look the slow game. Mario game you talked about. Yeah, the slow yeah, Mario that's game. That's new Super Mario Brothers U, the last oh, one. You thought that one was oh. slow? It was slow. Side this one bring, oh. is bringing back like P speed. It looks like from the from the trailer. <laughs> uh, lots of new fun things coming in Mario mm. Wonder, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun. It does look good. Uh, so a couple other games that we will blow through here: um, Super Mario RPG Remake. That's a big deal for a lot of people. It, it was... is not for me, but. So that Not my game, cup of tea. That remake is from the Super Nintendo, and it was a collaboration between Nintendo and SquareSoft. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I know a, a ton of people loved it. Yeah, a lot of people really did, love it. Who did Rabbids? I know you guys talked about this last time. But Ubisoft. Who did Ubisoft. 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 Uh, Ninten- Detective Pikachu two coming in October. I if didn't even know there that. was a Detective Pikachu one. I thought it was Neither just the I. movie. Neither did I. <laughs> Uh, Metal Gear Solid Collection Volume 1, confirmed for Switch. That's on everything. Yep. October 24th. I can't Uh, believe they're charging 60 bucks for that game, though. That's too much. I love Metal Gear Solid games. Don't get me wrong. They're some of my favorites. But 60 bucks for just a port? It's not a remake. It's not, you know. It's just a port? It's just a port. Yeah, you look at the graphics, and it's Uh, PlayStation 1 graphics, uh, PlayStation 2 graphics. And they're charging 60 bones. Yeah, it's too, too much. much. Yeah, that's too, too much. much. I mean, I'm going to buy it, but it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to eat it, but I'm not going to like it that that's much. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> um, WarioWare Move It. Uh, Micro Game Party move Switch. It, move it. I never played the WarioWare games. I understand they're Should really, really fun if you're into those party game kind of games like uh, Mario Party. So, so WarioWare games are ADHD kids crack because... It is yes. just a collection of hundreds of. They don't even call them mini games. They call them micro games. Yeah. Yep. Some are Can't great. Some are pretty habit. awful. It's great. There's one where you Love like it. pick someone's nose and stuff like that. Unroll toilet paper stuff. rolls, things like that. There's mini yep. games between games. Yep. Um, July 21st, the new Pikmin 4 is coming out, which looks James. amazing. James, day one, this is yours. Day one purchase, baby. You want to review that for the podcast? Hell yeah. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> um, if you oh, like Pikmin, right. James, HD versions of Pikmin 1 and Pikmin Already 2 are out now. Already bought them. Of course you did. Can't stand them. I'll be honest. Uh, Why? Here's what I don't like about them. I thought uh, you loved Pikmins. I love Pikmins, but Pikmin, Pikmin 3, too. you can target what you're going to throw. And Pikmin 1 and 2, you can't target. It's like zooming oh, really? in and out with the camera. Uh, that sucks. Bummer. Yeah, it's not very good. I, I tried playing 1. And then uh, I got probably like 15, 20 minutes into one. I'm like, ah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Because uh, you don't know where, amazing. Uh, where I'm throwing. So I'm like, they, they had to have corrected that in two. And nope, they sure didn't. <laughs> Mainly because in three, Lex and I play bingo battle for like hours at a time. Um, and I would just, I just want more levels. And uh, so did four give some kind of community support, even though it's Nintendo. 
And for as like Sherry as they say they are as a company, they're like, oh no, screw you when it comes to like any kind of uh, that kind of thing. That's why you got to buy them on physical cartridge. So you can share them, just hand someone the, the cartridge, you know. But this is eShop only. Mistake. Uh, for now, there, there's cartridges coming out in oh, October. Okay, cool. There are cartridges coming. Nice. Um, more Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, Hidden Treasure of New Area Zero expansions yeah. are coming. I have no idea what that's about. I'm not a Pokemon person anymore. What this says to me is, uh, we don't really care about fixing the base game, but have some DLC. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Take your Pretty Pokemon much. and like it. What if we Those... put this lipstick on this pig? Exactly. <laughs> Violet and Scarlet ran so poor, run so poorly and yeah. just looked yeah. like I played the demo and it was awful. Yeah. Um, Nintendo will continue to milk the teat that is uh, Mario Kart 8. Uh, another new course mm-hmm. alongside Petey Piranha, Dude, just Wiggler, put a and Kamek. in that game, man. Well, the only thing that okay. gets me excited about this is I already bought the booster course pack, so it's just more levels for me. Like it was like thirty bucks or something. Mario Kart's great. It's tons of for fun. for like fifty no, it's a, new levels. So I thought a, that was a good deal. It's a good great time. game, but my gosh, like it is a Wii U game. <laughs> but yeah. A lot of their stuff is Wii U games. I was say a lot we of talked about this last week too about yep. how there was poopy cells in the Wii U, and they bring it to the Switch, and it sells great. Just dang it. Um, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, Dark Side of the Moon, Vampire Survivor. Hold on, I'm just making sure. Getting over there. Tony's right. I'm just I, happy I with know. all the Pikmin news. It's been so um, long since we've had it. Well, that makes Dragon that makes Quest me question: Monsters. What's the next big thing that they haven't that we that we know is on the horizon? Maybe the new Metroid, Metroid. Prime game, dude. That's Switch Two. They're not bringing that's that Switch out on two. this platform. No way. No way. They gotta have a they gotta have a blockbuster to. It's a it's launch bad game. That I finished, yeah, uh, I'd put game. money. I'd put money on it being a launch game for the Switch too. I hope yeah, so too. And I money. really like the Prime, the Metroid yeah. Prime. Like I've been waiting for one of those for how long? Like a decade? How it's long? Been a it's long been a long time long since number three. Yeah, Switch long. Switch doesn't need it either. They're firing on all cylinders with so many of their other IPs. Yep. Save it for the Pick for in. the new launch. Um, Super Sonic Superstars got a new gameplay trailer. That was Woo, pretty cool. That game's gonna be awesome, and Tony, you know it. I oh, sure I hope it's. Sonic's I hope good, it's man. good. I hope it. I hope it's fun. We talked about Persona Five. They get a new trailer. Uh, Tony, didn't you talk about Myth Force being one of those games you reviewed on Steam demos? Yeah, yeah, on the demos. And I was going to review some more demos this this yeah, so episode. Yeah, Myth Force got a got a um, shout out in the Nintendo Direct. But I'm not going. Um, to. that's coming to Switch later to this year. <laughs> so that was interesting. Yeah, I thought it was kind of a cool game. I think it's got potential. It says so the the yeah inspired by a Saturday morning cartoon. Mythforth <laughs> is a first person melee roguelite. Melee that will have you, me melee. That's that, so melee, weird to melee. me. Melee. melee games. Ever since I played what is that Chivalry two or something that was supposed to be like the big melee game. I just can't get into it. Now Just you gotta Dance play twenty twenty four is coming out right October twenty fourth. Be a fighting game or be nothing. <laughs> So uh, um, the takeaway like, here is if uh, Nintendo didn't have platoon. good first-party games, they'd be screwed because that's pretty oh. much all that there was here is first-party yeah, games. For sure. <laughs> I was getting into some of the non-first-party games. Yeah, uh, but they're all if you like, if you like, they're remakes. Um, they're like old, not not remakes, but they're old like ports. The game I was about to talk to about talk about now three times. Fae Farm is a farm sim RPG with a sprinkle of magic. Faith so Farm. Fae Farm. Fae. Like F-A-E. fairy. Yep, I thought it was Fae like. Farm. Like if you like um, Stardew Valley <laughs> and or Animal Crossing, this game is probably for you. This um, game, it's an indie game, looks okay. Even my wife saw a trailer for this and says, "I'm going to get that." Yeah. So I mean, I think <laughs> it's pr- if if Nintendo liked it enough to feature it in their direct, because it's third party, it's not right. uh, it's not Nintendo. So if they liked it enough for it to be in their direct, it's probably going to be pretty decent at least. That is the end of my statement. Okay, Headbangers <laughs> Rhythm Royale is a new rhythm-based battle royale game, proving it yet again that there is nothing you cannot battle royale that just that's makes right. it awesome. Battle yeah, royale on anything is the best. Um, so that's coming. Gloomhaven brings the beloved board game with the same name to the Switch later this year. I have no idea how that's going to work out. I did not watch the trailer for that one yet. Gloomhaven I've seen on 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 uh, on uh, uh, cardboard-backed games. Yeah, it's tabletop a, games. It's, a tabletop it's like game. always at number one. Yep. It's it, remember when we played through Pandemic Legacy, not Pandemic Legacy, the House on the Hill Betrayal yeah. Legacy game. That's yeah. Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven's like that, but like ten times better. Oh, mm. that's nice. It's you skipped over. 
You skipped over the uh, Batman trilogy coming to Switch. Did I? <gasps> they do in the Arkham yeah. trilogy? Arkham the trilogy is coming to Switch. I yep. I, what so they're not including Origin? I wonder how Arkham Knight's going to run on that. Just reading down That'll the list. That'll be very interesting We have very little see. time, and I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> that's all. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. If you're into Hot Wheels games, that's it. I'm, I'm done. End I'm of story. Ki- I'm kind of excited for the Hot Wheels game. Hot Wheels Unleashed 1 was good. It was a good game. Yep. I'm surprised it's coming out so quickly after the first one. I am one. too, which I'm a little worried about that. Like, Yeah, it might just be more levels. Yeah, they're know? basically just going to do more levels and, and you know a few more levels and some more car mods or whatever. So there you go, uh, Nintendo Direct. Some good stuff. Some good, good stuff, stuff shown off there. Yeah, it's Nintendo right. killing it as usual on yep. the software side. Let's talk about some more software on a different platform. MetaQuest subscription was announced. Oh, man, we keep going. Wow. <laughs> what? We keep anyway, going. great. They got to do something with this stuff. Similar to PlayStation Plus. What is it called now? PlayStation Plus something. And. Uh, you're, you're, no one's saving me here? Okay, plus, whatever. Plus, PlayStation plus, to I, the I, moon! I can't think of it. I don't have a PlayStation Plus. And PlayStation Xbox plus Game Pass. Elite? I don't know. What is it? Ultra? Well, no. Actually, it is just like normal PlayStation Plus, And then the Xbox Live Gold, whatever. So the model being you pay a, subscri- a subscription fee each month, and you get to keep two games that they put out. Oh, and as long as, you're, as long as you're still paying that fee, you get to keep them in your library for as long as you want. Yeah. Anyway, this is finally coming to the, to the Meta Quest. Um, oh, what did Oculus you say? Quest. Uh, Oculus Meta. Quest. Excuse the me. Meta Quest. Uh, you get to have some games, which is great because, uh, I don't know, it's so many people own a Switch and other consoles, and if they get a VR headset, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a tough ask to suddenly build up your library again. Agreed, yeah. Uh, so this is actually a good deal. It's $8 per month or $60 per year, two games per month. That's a sizable discount if you buy the year up front. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And, uh, there's some good games like the, the first games you get are pistol whip, which is a very fun game. Actually, yep. you fit, you feel like John wick and pixel ripped 1995. I, I don't know what that is. But... Pistol wick. <laughs> See what I did there? I, I did. I did. Yeah. Like like John Wick. It pistol. sounds like it, but it's a pseudonym. If you have to explain it, Tony, it's not funny. Pistol Wick. <laughs> and then the next title is our Walkabout Mini Golf, which is a pretty good mini golf game, actually. I've played it before. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So check that out if you own a Quest and I'm haven't huge. touched it in a couple of years. Like, hey, that's I'm a huge game. fan of the subscription <laughs> yeah. model for games, to be honest with you. I, I like it that you get to keep it as long as well, you're paying. As long as you keep paying. Yeah. Like, like no, but but PlayStation Plus, I've been I have like over a hundred games probably oh, in easily. my in my library. Yeah, from well, that. same with same with when Xbox was just Gold instead of Game Pass. Yeah, I got a buttload of games on that too. That uh, and then and I don't know about the me- the Meta one, but uh, with PlayStation and Xbox, if you let your subscription lapse and you lose access to, access to those games, as if you ever just start the subscription up again, the games are still there in your library. Same it's with the Quest. Like, it's not like they go away, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right, well, just, there you go. Yeah. Uh, the, the last thing before we sign off, some potentially really good news coming from uh, a Nintendo announcement. Not, not a this Nintendo is... announcement, but uh, a report on a QA session that was held in their latest financial briefing. This is non-news. This doesn't you, mean what you think it means. You think so? Yeah. Because uh, everyone wants it to mean that backwards compatibility will be available on Switch 2. I like and that news. I know. <laughs> I think everyone does. But uh, what what the words they used were... Um, it will not have backwards compatibility. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that wasn't it. That, that wasn't they, better. <laughs> um, it was... They, a Nintendo accounts will allow for a smooth transition from... Uh, console to console, or generation to generation, whatever. The, the All that accounts, means is right? you can sign in with the same username and password yeah. on the next Switch. Doesn't mean and you'll they'll, get your games. Oh. Yeah, they'll let you. That, I, I bet you that means that let, they'll let you bulk buy all your games over at once at one time. Like you can add all of that. <laughs> in the cart. You buy. A, you have we've, to buy. A, they're like buy we, a package yeah. deal. Jared, yeah, they're I, like I, we've we're giving you a ten dollar discount and we're packaging up all your <laughs> games oh, that you man. own instead of sixty dollars. You pay yeah. fifty dollars. So, Jared, I understand oh, oh, what you're oh. saying. It's just it's just bringing the ID from console to console. But that is how you download games is through your user ID. So maybe 
it does offer a glimmer of hope, and you know what? I, I would, think we should just grab onto it and run. I agree. No, it, it's certainly possible, but they are by no means confirming this at all. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 This is, we're this gonna, is we're just latch a, onto it. This is a light in the darkness <laughs> when before there was just darkness, but now right. there's a little candle flicker, can, the candle way, flame flicker. 500 miles away, yes. Yeah. The way they come <laughs> we'll after people, that, the way that they come after people, any I, anybody that helps with emulation and, and like using their old ports and stuff, their old IP, the way Nintendo comes after them. I feel like I'm hoping that they just take all their old IP and just let you emulate it all the heck you want. Like if you have it, if you can buy it, can you currently buy all their old stuff? My mistake. No, no, man. No. No, Nintendo it's, online it's subscription. Cause they've been horrible about backwards. They still are. For yeah. All their systems. Well, no, actually they were really good with the Wii, the Wii uh, era because the Wii played GameCube games, and oh, the Wii right, U played Wii games. So they did it also play GameCube Wii? games. It did not the Wii U. No, they they cut it off at uh, mm. at the Wii because they didn't want to add. I the, remember that they didn't want to add the controller ports again on yeah, the Wii U on the for, the, oh, for the GameCube controllers again. I got yeah. the end generation of, of the Wii, and so like it didn't have the. Oh yeah, that is true. They did change they, that down. They, they made a cheaper version mm -hmm. near the end of the Wii life cycle that did not have the GameCube compatibility. Yeah, but uh, but yeah. Aside from that era, yeah, they've been trash at backwards compatibility. Super Nintendo didn't play Nintendo games. N sixty four didn't play Super Nintendo games. Well, none cetera. of the consoles yeah, was... really had that expectation back then. Right? Didn't yeah. didn't uh, Genesis the... play Master System games? No, 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 it didn't. Oh, I thought it did. No, you just bought the next sequel. It was always about the sequel. You know. What am I thinking mm. of? I could have. You never needed was... to go. You never needed Neo to go Gino. back and play it. Mm. You know? Anyway. So you yeah. Go. So there you go. But yeah, I guess you're you're right. That the other thing is when it was consoles and stuff, nobody ever got rid of their console uh, right. cartridges or anything like that. They just put yeah. Them on but a shelf the flip there. side of that, it was all carts. There was no digital downloads. Yeah. Oh right. yeah. That that's a very good point too. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. That's our that's our news. That's Geek Show Arcade today. Thank you for downloading us. Thank you for listening to the end, and uh, we appreciate you. But until next week. You know, you're going to have to wait until we have another episode. And I'm sure you're going to wait with eager, bated what a breath. Bummer. I don't like waiting. I don't like waiting at all, Tony. I know, but, but here we are. And until I don't then, exist. Owen, take us out. Hey, we hope you care. <laughs>